Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to talk to you about how to use the Slide Master feature and why you should consider using duplicate slides or a duplicate Slide Master set. So on the screen, I've just got a blank presentation, nothing going on, but I want to edit the Slide Master to set up my presentation slide set. Now, whatever you do in the Slide Master will cascade through all the slides if you select the overarching Slide Master or an individual type of slide, such as this one, a title slide, but more likely a bullet list a title with content slide. If you edit them in Slide Master, when you come into this view that you're looking at now, whatever you've done in the Slide Master will be available to you. So let's have a quick look at the Slide Master. If I go to the View tab, you've got this bit here, Master Views, Slide Master, Handout and Notes. Let's go for Slide Master. Now, whatever slide you were on, so I was on a title slide, when you select that option, you come into the master of that type, of that layout type. Now, if, you, if I go to the top, you can see this is the overarching top slide. So if I do anything on this slide in the master view, it will affect all the slides below. So what I want to do is look at animation and bring a logo in and things like that. So first of all, if I just click onto this text box, Go to animations, animation pane, let's have a look at that. Add an animation, and I'll go for dissolve in, which is in more entrance effects. Dissolve in. Okay. Now I want to set this to come in individually at the moment. One, one, that means the title and the first indent will come in together. What I want to do is go into Effect Options, which is over here in this little down arrow, Effect Options, and set two things. First of all, I want the text to dim blue when it loses focus, and text animation, I want it to set to be set to level five. So if there's five levels of indent, it comes in one level at a time. So right down to this on the mouse click. Click OK to that. And there you get the preview, it's dimming to blue. Now you don't type anything in here normally, some companies do do that, but you don't really need to type anything. It's just a guide of how the text will sit and display once you um, come out of Slide Master. Now if I want to insert a logo, for example, if I just go insert picture, uh, this device, this Dragoon, it can be my logo. Moving up to the top right of the slide, make him a lot smaller than that. So that's my logo. And you can see as I'm doing this, that that's cascaded down all the other slide types, whatever you put on this top one. Now, if I just put a little text box as well, so if I go insert and then text box, find it, text box. Do that again. I want it up here actually. And then I'll just put it. It's easy training. And get rid of that one. That was by accident. Just move that up a little bit. So it sits outside of this. You have to be careful not to cover up these pre formatted text boxes. I'll go back into the Slide Master tab. You have got the option, the option to change the layout. If I click on that, you can you can take these things off. Um, but you can also insert your own layout and create your own custom slide layout if you want. I see lots of companies um, setting up templates where the default is a blank slide, and then they're expecting people to create their own text boxes. I don't see the point of that because if they came into Slide Master, you could just do your own layout for your own company, and then that's what would be default. So that's um, all I want to do on this little slide master. So I've got the animation how I want it. In fact, what I'll also do is I'll just change these bullets. If we go back to home, um, there's the bullets. 
this is um, I'll set these. It says star bullets, but I like to call them dog's paw. So it looks like a dog's paw. So that's going to be on all the bullet slides. So if I say I've finished now, if I come out of this, close master view. Now, nothing's on here in terms of animation, but the actual little strap line on your company logo and a and, uh, bit of text there is there. If I add a new slide, which will be a bullet slide, there's a dog's paw. Now, if I type, press enter and tab, press enter and tab again, and keep doing that so I've come down five times. I missed that one. Tab. That's the five levels. Now, if I put that into full screen, you can see that it will play in that order. If I press enter, there's the first one. Now, it fades out, and there you go. That's the animation that we did in the Slide Master. So that's going to be on every single bullet slide. Now, that's great, but the problem with that is that there will be some slides that you have that you don't want that to happen on. You see, you've got this little, in the animation pane, you've got this little master body. I can't actually delete that because it's in the slide master. So if I wanted to get rid of that, I would have to go into the slide master, but then that would get rid of it off all the other slides. So what do you do? You can go into the slide master again. Let's go into the slide master, view, slide master. What I'm going to do is color this the whole set it's different colors so we can distinguish what's going on so i'll make this one blue you see that slide set's now gone blue there's two ways you could do this you could create a complete new slide master set which i will do and i'll just put it at the bottom there and color that one red so we've got a red one and a blue one and basically the red one hasn't got anything on it in terms of logo and animation red is definitely not a good color i'll go for green green is a bit better but not great so we've got a slide set there that's completely blank and we've got this one that's got the animation and our logo on so what you could also have done is if i click onto there we could have just selected this slide and if i right click on that you've got duplicate layout so if i click on duplicate layout that will give me a second slide which i'm going to change the color on just this one so i can see it now on this particular one this is just a complete duplicate of that so on this one i'm going to remove the animation so let's go back to animation get the animation pane on and get rid of it for this slide only now, what's happening here is this is not letting me delete it because it's a copy of that. Because I've put the thing, the animation on the top there. What what's gonna for me to edit this, I have to edit it at the top. So even though I've got a second slide, I don't want anything on here. Master body, pressing delete, can't delete. So that's um, a duplicate I could have done first. And then just put the animation on that one slide as opposed to all of these. But now what I'm going to have to do is use my second set down here, which hasn't got any animation. But this also hasn't got um, the logo and the dog's paw on either. So what I'm going to do to avoid all this hassle is I'm going on to the top one. So when I was in Slide Master 4, I just went new Slide Master, which gave me a complete blank set, and I've coloured it green, which is great. But that didn't have the logo and everything on it, so let's just get rid of that. We'll just get rid of this Slide Master, Delete Master, got rid of the green one. I don't want this now, because I can't edit that the way it's set up without taking it off everything, so let's delete that layout. So what I could have done is right-click, copy the master layout duplicate slide master there and then i've got it at the bottom let's change the color background go for that lime green color again or something similar to that whoa not good darker green or oh, blue even light blue will do so on this one 
what I all I need to do on this one is take the animation off. I don't need to take the logo or this bit off. So if I go to animation, get the animation pane back on, delete it off this set. So this set, this slide master has got all the same structure as this first one without the animation. Now, to be fair, you would have the same color scheme for both. Now, what I should do is rename this slide master. So if I right click and then re rename, um, no animation, for example, I could call that rename, get rid of that capital N, animation, rename. So that says no animation. And then I can call this one just the main um, rename call that main and that becomes a theme rename now if I go into come out of slide master so I've got my bullet list there press enter so this one's this one's the bullet list with the animation on if you can see it there in the slide master but let's say I don't want that right click Go to layout and you get you can see the other ones so you've got no animation and main the titles that we just did so that's the slide content i'll click on this one and this one hasn't got the animation on it it's got everything else logo and the dog's paw but it won't have the animation so even if i do that it will not have the animation if i go into the animation tab get the animation paint on Get rid of designer animation pane there is no animation where on that one there is coming from the master now in terms of the color schemes obviously i've got this different colored so you can see what i'm doing but if this was your main theme this would have the same theme it just wouldn't have the animation and it, the 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 way you would differentiate is on the layout option is whatever you've called it main or no animation that's how you differentiate between the two so that's creating separate slide masters we could have just duplicated a slide and then all of these other ones wouldn't have the animations on these dark blue ones should i say they wouldn't have any animation on just the the title and content slide could have done that or you can do it like i've done it there with the whole set but whatever you want to do you set this up and then you save this as a template and then going forward you just use use this system that you've created if you want to save these or this as a theme, you've got this option there, so you can save it as a theme, save current theme. I'll just call it main and animations. So it goes into the themes area, Microsoft templates, document themes, save that. And then if I get myself a new presentation, control N, and then I go to design, now, the theme that I want is not there, but you can browse for it. If you close PowerPoint down and open it again, it usually appears. Browse for it. And then these are the themes. So no animation, main and no animation theme. So there you go. You get the dark blue one with the logo on. If I go for a, the bullet list, there's the animations. If I go into animations, animation pane, play. There you go, it's doing the animation. If I want a slide with no animation, if I right click, go to layout, I've got this option, the light blue one, without the animation. So I've got the best of both worlds. So I've created a theme now, which has got two masters in it. And one's got animation on, and one hasn't. Anyhow, that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Hopefully, what I've told you about Slide Master and creating duplicate Slide Master has been of use. Thank you for your time, I'll catch you in the next one.